Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Peony, and today we're talking about your summer closet. So you might remember I did a 10 closet fundamental video, and this one follows on from that. So I'll link below the first video in case you wanna check that out. And these are the 10 pieces that I would add to that for your closet in the summer. So if you wanna see what I think are the most important things to have in your closet in the summer, just keep watching. So guys, these are the 10 pieces that I felt were the most important to my closet in the summer. It's the kind of most worn pieces for me in the summer, every summer. So they're not trend driven, they're just kind of classic pieces that I've worn year on year on year for at least 10 years. Um, and I really wanted it to pair well with the video that I did before for the Closet Fundamentals so that you can see how those pieces integrate into your summer closet as well. So there's a lot of kind of pieces that I'll be styling with these so that you can see how they add together. So let's start with accessories like last time. So first of all, you've got to go for a straw hat in the summer. This one is, um, I actually picked it up in Venice, but I've had a few of these because they do tend to break along the bridge here. Um, because I guess how you put them on like that, you kind of touch the top bit. But I love these in the summer. They're great in the city, they're great by the beach. They're just really versatile. I personally don't want to end up like a wrinkly prune, so I love to wear a hat to protect my skin. So for me, that's a must. And I just think they're a really chic um, addition to anyone's summer closet. Obviously, if you feel like you don't suit a kind of Panama trilby shape, you can go with a more rounded beach hat. But I think that these shapes, these kind of fedora till till, what are they called? Is it a tilbury? Now it just sounds weird because you said it too much. Let's just say we'll just say we'll just say Panama. <laughs> I just think they're really unisex. These Panama hats and really versatile and timeless so I love them and this one I picked up like I said in a tiny shop in Venice and you can sometimes find kind of random little regional shops that do them but my fail safe is um, the men's one from Lock & Co so I'll add a link for that below so you can have a look. So the next thing I want to talk about is shoes. Now um, I understand that Hermes sliders are not everybody's um, budget but you can get something very similar to these. I'll link some similar choices below as well as um, some relisted um, designer. These ones I bought from Hermes in Singapore. They're very, very classic. They're just in the kind of dark tan color. I wear these with skirts, with dresses, with shorts, like all through the summer. They're just incredibly chic. There's something about a tan sandal, particularly a slider, that is incredibly chic. And I really recommend A, getting a tan sandal and B, making it a very minimalist slider like this. I do have like t-bar tan sandals as well if you don't like a uh, kind of you need something holding your foot in a bit more then I really like the Roger Vivier ones but for me this is the ultimate summer sandal well worth the investment and just incredibly chic on. The second pair of shoes I wanted to talk about are these. These are um, espadrilles. I have this type of espadrille in about how many colours? Maybe three or four colours? And I just love them because they are incredibly versatile. These are from Castena, I think that's how you say it. It's a Spanish brand. They stock on matches, net a porter, a load of different stores. And they do a really wide variety of espadrilles. They're like one of those universal shoes. They never go out of style. And you can really get a shape now that suits your figure. So I don't know if you can tell on these, but they're a little bit more pointed. I like this, them to be a little bit more pointed. You can get very round toed ones. And you can get them all different heel heights. And they're really the basic of any summer wardrobe. I feel like you can't really get dressed in the summer without a pair of espadrilles. They're just essential. Um, and I think Castaner make the best ones. So I, I've, I think I've had like four or five from Castaner. Some of them have worn through now. Um, but I have three in my closet now. The cream ones, a black pair, and then a velvet pair as well. The bag I wanted to tell you about for the summer is a backpack. This is a Chloe backpack. And I've singled out the Chloe one because it's such a gorgeous summer color. However, it's not just this Chloe one. I love this Chloe one and I think that the gray, um, this is the Peerless Gray Chloe Faye mini backpack. And I think that that's just, I mean, look at it against the summer wardrobe clothes. I just think it's a really, really great tone in general. And I just find backpacks in the summer really, really useful because 
a lot of the time you're wearing kind of bare shoulder things and straps can dig in and leave a mark whereas when you're wearing a backpack you can kind of just sling it over your shoulder it's much more cash it doesn't really need to be um, as big a bag you can use much smaller ones this one actually is really useful because it has a separate like arm strap so you can carry it like a little tote as well which I love which also fits over the shoulder so you get this kind of um, multiple bag the other backpack that I love is the Chanel um, one and that one also is very versatile you can pull the chain in and out and it makes it different lengths and it's really great for the summer I wear them to festivals um, to meetings, all different stuff. Like I, I feel like backpacks are not a casual thing anymore. There's there's so many kind of upscale designer ones that they're a really fun and um, summery, light way to wear a bag in the summer. So for me, backpacks are essential, and I love this Chloe one for the summer. Moving on to clothes now, I've got a couple of tops and a couple of bottoms and stuff. So I'm going to talk you through each one. First of all, this is a silk blouse. Um, in the same way that a white shirt is really important to me in my fundamental closet, a short-sleeved white silk blouse for the summer is so useful. It doesn't look like the most exciting piece in the world. I have quite a few of these from lots of different brands. And um, this one I wanted to share with you because I actually just think the value for money and the quality of the product is amazing. And it's just Bowdoin. Um, and I don't even think of Bowdoin really as a place to go for style in general, but I, when I saw this top, I was like, that's actually genius. It's the kind of thing that you'd buy for twice the price somewhere else. And they've just done a really lovely job with it. So it's a silk top. It's got kind of gathered little arms and a gathered little neckline. And they just layer incredibly well with even underneath some dresses, with denim shorts, with jeans, with leather skirts. There's so many different ways that you can wear a little blouse like this. And I honestly think you won't realize how much you need it until you get it. It's like, it's always like a white t-shirt, but smarter. And I love that. Great for the city, particularly. The next item you probably already have in your closet anyway, because I don't think there are many people that don't have a pair of denim cutoff shorts. These are an old pair of Levi's ones. Um, these are 507s, so they're a little bit higher waisted. And I think I picked these up from Urban Outfitters. If you're looking for denim shorts, I recommend buying vintage ones from Levi's. Um, you can either buy them, uh, well, you can either go to a vintage short store and try on about 15, or you can just go on Urban Outfitters or Anthropology, any of those kind of brands. I will link some options for you below. And I just buy like five sizes because vintage jeans, the sizing is a bit different. The colors washes, they can all come a bit different. So I just buy loads of options and then intend to return like 90% of them. And I end up keeping one or two pairs if I buy like seven. It's just to make sure that I get the right color and size combination. So um, these ones I'm pretty sure I did get from Urban Outfitters. I like to wear them um, cuffed, so I just roll the ripped bit up like that when they're on. And they just are so useful. I wear them on the beach, I wear them in the city. They're not, I wouldn't really wear one in the week, during my working week, because I'm a bit old to wear denim shorts to work. But I would definitely wear them at the weekend and on holiday and they just are so versatile. And they're kind of the kind of clothes that you can wear, you can sit on the beach, if you sit in something dirty, it doesn't really matter. That's kind of part of the look is that they're a bit scuffed and damaged, so. For me, they're super important. And I also have them in white because I found white denim shorts in a very hot environment in the summer. Looks really cool. I love that white denim kind of look. If you love shorts and you want to find a way to wear shorts in the city or to work, then a great way is my next piece. So this is a tailored pair of shorts. I have about four pairs of this kind of tailored pair of shorts. These ones are from Vanessa Bruno. I picked them up quite recently from Netta Porter, so I'll link them below in case you're interested. They're kind of a thick linen. Most of mine are linen shorts. These ones are high-waisted. I tend to buy them if I want to wear them as kind of almost suiting. I buy high-waisted and you want them to be relatively long. You want them to come kind of halfway down your thigh. And they're just, if you buy the right pair like this they have pin tucks they're very tailored looking it's very formal looking it doesn't look undone it doesn't look casual at all I love them with a white shirt with a blazer over the top um, some heels or even at the weekend with a more relaxed linen shirt and um, some trainers they can look great um, I've been wearing linen shorts like this uh, probably for 12 years they're not going to go out of style they're just a classic piece if you don't own a pair this is something you need to invest in. Well, well worth the money. 
So in my last 10 fundamentals, we had the classic Levi's gene. And today we have basically the same gene in white. These ones have got raw edges on the bottom. You can just cut that yourself. Honestly, I just buy normal jeans and cut the ends off because it'll fray on its own time. And I just think that a white pair of stiff, thick jeans, when you're buying white jeans for the summer, check that they're not see-through because this is a big problem with white jeans. A lot of them you can see like the gradient of where the pocket hits and then it looks a completely different colour underneath and it looks awful. Make sure that you're getting a good quality denim that's nice and thick and that you don't have that transparency with. So these ones I love because it's stiff, stiff denim, there's no kind of transfer, it's very kind of thick, it holds you in and they just look great with the Hermes sliders we were talking about before. Um, I wear them with everything from like linen shirts, silk shirts, even just over your swimsuit you can pull them on and that looks great. There's loads and loads of ways to wear white jeans and white jeans I just associate with kind of French chicness. I think it's a great look in the summer. Obviously more for kind of cooler climates white jeans or for the evening for dinner because denim can be quite hot in the summer. But I love it. I think they just look really fabulous. Great with heels. You can dress them up and down. Very versatile. And there's something about white denim that isn't as casual as blue denim. You can kind of get away with it in a more formal setting, I think. So the last two pieces that I have are dresses. And I really struggled to tell you which dresses because everyone buys a new summer dress, right? That's kind of much more of a trend-led piece. So the first dress that I've chosen to go with I've chosen it because it's very universal and there's always one from different brands every season, which is a tunic dress. This is a little pink one I picked up from Steve May, Stevie May. Um, but this look, Chloe makes them, um, Zimmerman makes them, so many different, Marge makes them, like every brand basically makes a smock dress in the summer. I would say go with ones that aren't printed if you want it to last the test of time. I do have printed ones from Isabel Moran, but I think if you want something a bit more timeless, a plain colour looks better, particularly like pastel colours. So Chloe did a really gorgeous one in blue that I think is still available on the outnet. I'll link it below if it is. But basically, they're just very wearable. You can wear them with supergars, you can wear them with sliders, you can wear them with heels in the evening, you dress it up or down, accessorise them in lots of different ways. They're floaty and light. If you're pregnant, they're comfortable. Like, they're just very very versatile pieces you can almost wear it as a caftan on the beach as well so i think that they have a really great life in your closet both in an urban environment in a resort environment whether you've gained or lost weight it doesn't make any difference these are just great pieces so look for ones that you really like the color and texture of the fabric because they will last a long time the final piece in my 10 summer closet essentials is a shirt dress so i just love shirt dresses i think they look incredibly chic and grown up online. I like to wear them with little slips underneath, that's just a little black slip from Next. Um, this shirt dress is from Frank and Aileen, which is the same brand as the white shirt that I recommended in my last Closet Essentials video. So it's all the same kind of thing. But basically, I like to cinch them in with a belt. I think they look great in the city going to meetings. I wear them with black stilettos. It's very, very versatile. I also own loads of them that I wear as beach cover-ups and I wear them um, on the sand and if we're going sailing or anything like that. So they really have a life from all the way from like a very formal situation to a very relaxed situation. And I just buy different, slightly different shapes and slightly different fabrics to fit with the environment. So in a more urban environment, I would buy a kind of more polished cotton or a silk, something maybe more structured. Alaya does wonderful shirt dresses. Whereas in a more relaxed environment, I'd go with linen or something more kind of textured and cottony. So there's lots of different ways you can wear a shirt dress and I must own at least six. They're just really, really useful pieces. You can also get them in black. They're great in black as well. I really think of everything, if you don't own a white shirt dress, this could be a game changer for you. And again, if you lose or gain weight, if you're pregnant, Whatever's going on in your life, they're very, very comfortable and versatile. So it's an investment piece that you'll get a lot of wear out of. That was my top 10 summer closet essentials. And I chose them all because I think they're really timeless and they make up the basis of all of the things that I wear in the summer. So that's why I chose them. If you haven't seen my 10 closet fundamentals video, check it out, I'll link it here, um, because it's really the core that you need before you get onto this 10. So the two videos pair really well together. And if you have different 
fundamentals to me, let me know. I'd love to hear below. I struggled to keep it to 10. There were lots of pieces that I really wanted to include, but I had to try and keep it to this 10. So hopefully you like the 10 pieces that I chose. And I'm trying to do more fashion videos. So if there's any topics you really want me to cover, just leave me a comment below and I promise I will do my best to get onto that because I want to give you what you want. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, turn that bell on so you get notified for my next video and I'll catch up with you again next week. Bye. Blech. So, uh, ah! I'm exhausted by myself.